Well, it's a continuation of the tale of two Darbys. That's the Darby from Meritage Homes, and he, we're down here in the Meridians, which is a closeout neighborhood. Uh, first of all, real estate is local, and it's particular to site-specific. Look at the trees. Look at the sidescape on this house. No house next to you, just woods and beauty, right? Oh, my goodness. Love it. Right on a cul-de-sac and uh, very near to the Palisades. This is a ranch homes neighborhood. And this Darby is different from the one, if you wait till the end, you can see the video I shot of the model. They're both for sale. They're both in the 450 to 475 range. That's almost where the differences uh, begin. Got a great little porch here. I just have to highlight this, because guys, I'm all the time sitting out looking at my woods. That's what I do with Jack the Real Estate Dog and even little Bella out there hanging out with me quite often. So I would just encourage you to consider, if you're in a relocation mode, this is a house I think we could do well on. Uh, Price-wise, I'd love to help you remotely as your buyer's agent, me or one of my team of partners. And uh, this one is almost 3,100, 3,200 square feet. Now, first thing you notice is the beauty of this vinyl plank flooring that runs throughout much of the house. This one's different from the other Darby, and you'll see the, you'll, see, you'll note the differences. The other one is a model home. Now this one has those two windows. This is a formal uh, dining room, technically. But what if you wanted to make this multi-generational? Could do it a couple of different ways, but what if mom or dad would be happy with a bedroom up in front, right next to a full bath, right? Full bath, now this bath happens to have access to that door, but that door can be closed. And what if they were living right here on this main level? And if you, there's so much living space here. What if this was their own little sitting room, living room? Unless you need it as a dining room, but there's space everywhere in this house. That's one possibility for making it multi-generational. Now, before we go in there, let's head down this little hallway. Now, if you remember in the model tour, bathroom to the right, we had what we called a snore room. At least that's what I called it. Uh-oh, ding, ding, ding. Washer dryer in the house, what does that tell you? If you're a subscriber, you know, and if you're not a subscriber, click that subscribe here button to the, to the right, or wait till the end and slap my face at the end and then uh, subscribe that way. What you know is that this house is finished, it's done, it's got blinds on it, it's got a washer and dryer sitting in it. Oh, they wanna sell this house. Garage door there to the left. There's that aforementioned bathroom that we walked through. So that's another bedroom. That's two out of the four, but look at this puppy. Now this one has a completely different feel than the model. Why? Because it's not the model. I told you they build those models in such a way it's like a drug to get you to want it. You want to buy everything in the model. And that model, again, they're pretty similarly priced. The model's got a lot less square footage than this one. The price is very similar, but it's got, I don't know, $150,000 maybe of extras put into it. Something like that, crazy. So you've got really good cabinets, 42 inch. You've got a 36 inch gas cooktop. So you've got all the good stuff here. And by the way, if you did make that a uh, that uh, dining room right there, a uh, living room for mom or dad, you could put a door right there. You could almost put a door right there. Got a good sized pantry here and a lot of good space. In fact, there's even room. Did you see that? There's even room right there for something. Something amazing, right? So there you go. Man, white, white, white. That's what people seem to like these days. I've got to do my classic shot from the sink looking out. It's open concept, to say the least. Whereas the model had a lot of built-ins over there, you've got room for built-ins to do it the way you want to do it yourself. Uh, and the lot is spectacular in my opinion. Now, if you need to have a big backyard, see, I do, because that's where Jack runs and plays and gets a lot of exercise. Our big dog, the real estate dog, uh, but guess what you would have here? So you got a great looking little porch. It's screened. Obviously there's no door because there's no, there's nothing to, <laughs> to open up to. But you got these woods here, come on. So now when we go out downstairs, I'll show you how you can access those woods and just really enjoy this setting. You know, the, the Palisades itself, we're right next to the Palisades, is known for its woods and its winding trails. And you could certainly walk that and they've got a golf a country club and golf and tennis and every good kind of thing like that. But walking, beautiful. Now let's take a look at the master. I'm not sure if you're drawing any similarities between this and the model.
But again, the model has that snore room that goes in from the master uh, bath, and this one has it as a separate bedroom. So that's cool. Wow. Mm, I would love to help you with this. If you like the lot, and specifically got a makeup table, and you like uh, the nuances of the lot, which, what's not to like, right? It's just really, really neat. Undermount sinks, and you've got a shower, no tub, and that's pretty as well. And then you've got a WC water closet. So there you go, guys. This is the master. I like having a makeup table there. My wife uses hers most every day. Now that she's retired, most every day. <laughs> ah, wow. Wow, it's pretty. So guys, if you're relocating to the greater Charlotte area, where do you see this basement? Uh, let me, and, and if you don't know about Meritage, they have a reputation. This is a good wide stairway. They have a reputation of being an energy efficient builder. They use spray foam insulation. And that's going to save you money every month on your utility bill. So again, here, I'm always looking for spaces like that to put something, right? Now, this room is not finished. If you and I go and want to buy this, then we're going to ask for some kind of flooring in here, probably. They can say yes or no. They've got it all finished out. It's got HVAC. It's conditioned. It's a huge room. So would you use this as a theater room, put some real theater seats uh, or a bedroom? Or maybe this is a multi-generational suite for mom or dad because you got room for, uh, it's basically you got room for a bedroom and a living room in here. I like that. And there is a bath around the corner. Um, but I don't think they're really counting that as a bedroom. There's another bedroom. Hello, people. Hello, people. Look how big. Off to the right is going to be that bedroom. But do you see how huge this is? You got room for two pool tables, right? Pool table and a ping pong table and a theater and home media, this and that. This is like, can you see it? How big it is? Now, here's what I'll tell you. Not only that, we're going to go outside and we're going to look at the bedroom. But look at this. You want to see some hidden chambers? So let's say you're a potter or you're a weightlifter and you need some, maybe some unfinished space. So first of all, here's your first little surprise. Not conditioned, but hey, it's dry. And by the way, there are a couple different ways to do uh, basement walls. Superior walls is definitely one. I like superior walls. Uh, a lot of people like just poured concrete, but you can do your research on that. But this has got a tall ceiling to it, you know, probably almost 10 feet, 9, 10 feet. And again, guys, look at this. Again, you got mechanicals in here, but maybe this is a, a little manufacturing room for something. Maybe you're building something in here. Maybe you've got a shipping room in here. I don't know. And then you've got this. Another little space, right? So you look at it that way. Another little space. So there are opportunities to utilize space like this, depending on whether you need number one storage, whether you uh, need something, again, for workout room, whether you need uh, space for, I mentioned manufacturing or a mail center, or what would I turn mine into, right? A YouTube channel, of course. Beautiful, all right, guys, that's extra. Because when they pour the foundation, they obviously, uh, the basement is the same size as the first floor. So again, we've got a little narthex coming in and we've got a bath to the right. We've got a nice basement windows. Think about how quiet it would be here in the back in the basement. So this is multi-generational. If mom or dad uh, don't mind the steps or a returning college grad and you will get a free nine volt battery with your purchase. This is big right here. What would you do with it? What would you do with this? It's closeout mode, guys, and you know, in a closeout mode, they really want to sell them. And I would like to help you, me or one of my broker partners, I've got a team. So now, even from here, you've got your own cupboard. Again, remember, you've got a roof above the upstairs, so this is basically free from rain. And then you look outside, what you got? Well, you could take your dog out to use the facilities right here. Other than that, it's not so much, but look at the woods. But who doesn't want to walk in the woods, right? So my guess is that your property line goes out from this fence a little bit, but they've got a retaining wall here. And uh, wow, guys, the birds are singing. So if you're in the market for a home with a basement, a ranch home or ranch with a upstairs, this Darby plan is one of Meritage best and the energy efficiency is off the charts. So give me a call. Make sure you subscribe, like and share. Give me a ring and I'll see you in the next video.